All right guys, so continuing on, I just finished part one of my Q&A video and I am going into part two now. If you didn't watch part one, that will be linked down below. I asked for questions for a Q&A on my Instagram, so I'm going through all of those right now. If you could rename yourself, what would it be? I was not expecting that. If you had to use one letter to name your kids, what would it be? I guess whatever letter in the alphabet has the most name options. <laughs> That's my answer. I don't know. I don't really have a... I've always really liked R's. I like the name Rebecca. I like the name Rachel. I like Rochelle. So maybe R's? I don't know. Maybe that would be if I could rename myself. Maybe my one of my best friend's names is Raquel and I love that name. So maybe R's. Hey Jamie, I'm wondering how you decided 100% to homeschool your children. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old and my husband and I are very undecided about what we will do. He's from Germany where homeschooling is actually illegal and isn't that open to the idea. I, on the other hand, is le am leaning more towards homeschooling, but also nervous about how I will juggle everything. I've been praying hard about it, but I haven't gotten a clear answer yet. Any advice, support would be so appreciated. Love you, girl. Sending hugs your way. All right, girl. That's kind of a big question, and I feel like that probably could have its own video if I really wanted to do this question justice, which I probably will make my own video based on this. For right now, I have decided 100% to homeschool my children because of the main reason that I am uncomfortable sending my children to public schools. There, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be really careful on how I word this because I do want to do a separate video on this and I don't want this to be read into more than what it is or less than what it is, um, especially with my children being so young. I don't feel comfortable in trusting my children into a school system. I just, I don't. I don't really feel comfortable leaving my children with very many people at all, especially people that I don't know, that I don't know inside and out. Now, will we homeschool forever? I don't know. Will I be homeschooling all of my kids and it's just not working out and then we end up changing our mind about some things? Maybe. That's something that I personally have learned about making decisions or making statements on parenting is that I feel like we're always evolving. I am still just 26. My kids are all very, very young. And as I've heard, it only gets harder. It doesn't get easier. So I don't know. I have no idea. But for right now, we will be homeschooling and it's mostly because it's what we're comfortable with. Jen asked, dream collaborations. Well, Jen, I love collabing with you. This is from Mama Sparkly Heels here on YouTube, and Jen is one of my good friends. Gosh, dream collaborations. Hmm. I would love, who would I love to collab with that I just adore? It's funny because most of the people that I fangirl over, I'm actually friends with, and I probably have collabed with. I don't know. Erin. Erin from Erin and Baby. Erin, I miss you, girl. We need to do ourselves a collab real soon. All right, the second question that Jen is asking is favorite Chick-fil-A dipping sauce? Jennifer, we do not have Chick-fil-A in the Midwest where I live. What the heck? I guess I gotta come down and visit you and have some Chick-fil-A. And what's your favorite dipping sauce? Do you guys have a favorite Chick-fil-A dipping sauce? Comment down below and let me know. Do you plan to enroll your three babies in a Mother's Day Out program? I would love to. But we have nothing like that in my area. I've looked it up. I ain't finding it nowhere. My church doesn't offer it, which is really sad. Christina asks, when are we planning a meetup <laughs> or mommy vacation together? And where are we going? Christina, sometime soon and someplace warm. Your favorite Starbucks beverage? My favorite Starbucks beverage right now is the caramel brulee latte. Throughout the year, I have no idea. I have not found an absolute Starbucks beverage that I love when it's not the holiday season. What's on your Christmas wish list? Gosh, I have nothing on my Christmas wish list because I really just feel like I got everything. And I don't mean to be cheesy or anything like that by saying it, but I, there's really nothing that I don't have that I really want. Unicorn or Pegasus? <laughs> this is from Christina again. Um, Christina, what is a Pegasus? Is a, is a Pegasus? I think they're both, well, obviously horses, unicorn or Pegasus. Pegasus sounds cooler, but I don't, I don't know what a Pegasus is. I, don't hate me, guys. I don't know what that is. Unicorn? You have an all-expense paid trip to go anywhere in the world. I, oh, where do you go? <laughs> I'm like, what? I have an all-expense paid trip? Probably Europe. I would love to go to Europe. I would love, I would love to go any Europe, 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 Europe. What kind of church do you go to? I go to a non-denominational 
Protestant church. The setup of like the government and kind of how our church runs and beliefs as far as overseers and things like that, that is more of the Presbyterian kind of mindset, but we are a non-denominational church. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love me? This is from Allie. Allie, I love you a 10. I love you an 11 because I love you that much. Guilty pleasure. <sighs> By guilty pleasure would be cherry pepsi that is my guilty pleasure or coffee would be my guilty pleasure but i feel like coffee is more accepted because it's not full of high fructose corn syrup and pepsi is but i'm just it's so good i just can't stop you guys pray for me favorite restaurant i love uh, mexican food i love i don't know i don't really have a favorite restaurant Goodness, I love anything Italian. I love me some Italian food, so any Italian restaurant, I'm game. Would you and your husband ever adopt? Maybe. I don't feel led to adopt right now. I don't have like a longing in my heart to adopt, but my husband and I have talked about it and it's not off the table. And we feel like if God is calling us to adopt and we believe there is a child out there that is supposed to be a part of our family, we will do it. All right guys, so I'm gonna answer this one last question in this Q&A video, and then I'm gonna start my number three Q&A video right after this. Do you ever get frustrated not being able to serve the way you used to or want to? My husband is also a pastor and he's always out there serving, and I used to be right there with him or able to go and serve my own ministries or areas. Now often I'm left behind. He's awesome with the kids and parents them equally with me as much as possible. It's not like a lot of families I know where the dad is checked out. It's just the way it works being married to a vocational pastor. I just feel so useless many times. Oh, I almost started getting a little emotional reading that. Because I understand what you're saying. I totally get what you mean. But yeah, I feel sad sometimes because I can't be out there serving and doing specific things that I want to do. I can't lead with the worship team as much as I used to. But I really believe that this is a season of our lives and in this season there are some hardships and there are some, maybe not even hardships, but just some things that we really wish that we, you know, could do or that are bittersweet because we can't do them. There are also, I found, a lot of ways that you can serve and you can use being a stay-at-home mom as an opportunity to minister to other moms and to other people. So maybe I'll do a video on that because I have found, you know, some really cool ideas to be able to serve and to still be able to, you know, get into ministry. All right guys, so this is part two of my Q&A video. Stay tuned for part three that will be up soon. Bye guys.